Hey everybody, Carl Schroof here from GreenSock, and today I want to show you how the YoYo Ease property allows you to specify any ease you want for the YoYo portion of a repeating tween. On the screen here, I have a very simple demo set up with a single tween that's going to move this green object to an X of 700 with an ease of power 2.ease out. This just means the animation is going to slow down on the way out. So I'll restart, and there you have our box slowing down on the way out. To make this animation repeat, I'm going to add a repeat property with a value of one, so it'll repeat only one time. And I'm going to add a very small repeat delay of 0.1 seconds. Now the next time I run this animation, it's going to play once through, there'll be a very slight delay, and it will repeat once. If I want this animation to work in a way that when it repeats, the green box moves back to the beginning, I'm going to set a yo-yo property on here with the value of true. And what we're going to do now is have the green box move to the right, and when it yo-yos, it goes back. What I want to point out here, though, is that this animation is respecting the power to ease out in both directions, meaning that it's going to start fast and then end slow, and then go slow and speed up. We can make this much more clear by using a bounce.ease out ease. So you'll see here that the animation will bounce on the way out of the first iteration and then unbounce on the second iteration as it goes back. So although that's technically accurate what's happening, some animators weren't terribly fond of that. So what I'm going to do is add another parameter here called yo-yo ease and set that value to true. Now when I run this animation, watch what happens. We bounce on the way out and then we bounce on the way out over here as well. And that's much more natural, if you will. So we have this repeating, bouncing animation off of both sides. So when we specify yo-yo ease true, it's telling the engine to use whichever ease we used on the first iteration of our tween, but we're just going to flip it around. Now, if I want to use a different ease when the animation is yo-yoing, I can specify that here in the yo-yo ease property. So instead of saying true, I'm going to say power 2.ease out. So now when I run, you'll notice that we have our bounce on the way out, but on the yo-yo iteration, we're using that power 2.ease out. There's no bounce at all there. So we have all this control over which ease is being applied and how during the yo-yo portion of a repeating tween. One last thing I want to point out is that the engine knows that if you are specifying a yo-yo ease, that you're also intending for yo-yo to be true. So I want to show you that we do not need to have yo-yo true in there anymore once we specify the yo-yo ease. So when I run this animation, you'll see that I removed yo-yo true, and it works exactly as planned. One final thing to keep in mind is that the yo-yo ease property is only for tween max tweens, as tween light tweens do not repeat. So take yo-yo ease for a spin and have some fun.